Hello friends, my name is MNK Mane. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to point your Namecheap domain name to your host ghetto hosting. So you all know that Namecheap is my favorite platform for purchasing domain name. And this is because they are good in that area. If you want to purchase an affordable domain name, I highly recommend Namecheap. And in this video, you are going to be learning how to connect or integrate your Namecheap domain name to the hosting account you purchase from HostGator. And of course, if you are watching this channel, please check the, the description below to use my affiliate link. It will not cost you anything extra. It's just a way of supporting this channel. Please go ahead and use my affiliate link. You'll find my affiliate link for Namecheap and also my affiliate link for HostGator. Of course, uh, if you use my affiliate link, I'm going to be getting a commission. It's just a way of supporting this channel. Let's go ahead. So the first thing you do is you visit Namecheap using my affiliate link, ebusinessroom.us forward slash nc. It will take you to Namecheap where you can purchase your affiliate link for as low as a dollar to as high as $15. And there are also domain names that can be more. So the first thing you do is you get your domain name from Namecheap. And once you do that, you get this. The, the owner of this account has not verified it. That's why this thing is showing. So what you do, the moment you purchase your domain name, an email will be sent to you in your inbox. Click on it to verify your domain name. And like they said here, you have only 15 days to verify it. If you don't verify it within 15 days, they will nullify your ownership of that particular domain name and return your money to your account fund. So once you do that, you get your domain name, you go to host, uh, host ghetto using exactly the same domain name you purchased from Namecheap to purchase a hosting platform. And it's very low. I think it's around $2.75 or $2.98 within that range per month. So you can purchase for it for 12 months or 24 months. The more years you purchase, the more discount you are likely to get. So the moment you do that, you are going to get your... You this is your dashboard, your host, your your host ghetto dashboard. You click on C panel. When you click on C panel, it will take you to this place. I have to open it up so that it will save us more uh, more time. So once you click here, you come to this place. You see your DNS. This is your domain name server. So you have domain name server one and domain name server two. Your job is to take these two and put it in Namecheap, and both of them will be integrated. So the first thing we we'll do, we we'll copy this. We we'll copy this. We we'll go to we we'll go to Namecheap, and of course, it's you click on uh, this drop down menu. Click on Manage. Of course, I need to let you know that this domain name server depends on your domain name. Don't copy the one here thinking that it will work for you. This is just as an example. I'm just giving you this as an example. So each domain name you purchase, each hosting account you purchase, has its own unique name server. It's very important that you know that. So you scroll down to name servers, come to this place, you have Namecheap basic DNS, click on it. You, a drop down will show up. You click on custom DNS. On name server one, copy and paste what you, uh, what you got from host ghetto. Go back to host ghetto, uh, the C panel, copy the second one, copy the second one, go back to Namecheap, put it in name server two. You see a check sign here representing save. So click on this check sign and it will save. It will take it anything between 24 hours to 48 hours for this thing to properly propagate. If it doesn't happen within that time, it means you need to reach out to your hosting platform. Oftentimes, this thing will happen within 20 minutes. Within 20 minutes, the two accounts will be integrated to each other. Like I've always told you, it's always good that you purchase your domain name from a different platform why you get your hosting account from a different platform. The essence of doing that is to make it easy for you to migrate from one hosting account to another or from one domain name registrar to another in case you are not comfortable with their services. It could be you are no longer comfortable with their price. It could be that you are no longer comfortable with their support system. Whatever it is you don't like, you can easily move to another platform if you purchase your domain name and hosting from different platforms. That is all you need to do in this video. And before you know it, 
both of them will be integrated. I look forward to seeing you in my, in my next video. Thank you so much.